Good morning, I'm Brian Regan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. Today we're in James chapter 1. And Tyler, actually, just read 12 through 18. Okay. Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my fellow, or my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. All right. So here we have the promise of blessing, every good gift and every perfect gift. This doesn't have anything to do with heaven. Oh, no, 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 it has nothing to do with heaven. In heaven, there won't be good and perfect gifts to come down from the Father of light into the realm of darkness to bless his children. Okay? Enduring temptation means that, you know, when you've been approved, you'll receive the crown of life. Yes, that's in the future. But what? When you're tempted, let no one say, I'm tempted of God. God's not here tempting you. God is here wanting you to come through the time of difficulty, come through the time of trial, to count it all joy, to come to him, to ask wisdom, to combine your faith and patience so that you don't lack anything, so that he can bless you. Look back at verse 7. Let not that man suppose he will receive anything from the Lord. Well, that means that if, if, if you... Do the wrong thing, he tells you, don't think God's going to give you anything in this life. But if you get the, if you follow the formula, it implies what? That there are good and perfect gifts for him to give you now. Okay? So, where this comes in. The number one reason why more people aren't blessed by God is because they say that they can't be blessed. Well, you know, brother, I know God did that for so-and-so, but I just, you know, I, I don't think he'd do that for me. Or, you know, my great aunt Hortense, she was so holy and righteous. God blessed her all the time. I'm just not like her. I couldn't hope to be blessed like she was. Um, well, A, you don't know how good or how bad your great aunt Hortense was. Okay, number one. Number two, what makes you so special that God would show respect to persons where you're concerned to not do for you what he's done for others. It's a funny thing in life. Generally, what you expect to receive is what you receive. Because why? Obviously, it's what you expect to receive because generally that's what you sow. See, I believe I'm blessed because I look for opportunities to bless people. Someone said to me not too long ago, they said, yeah, but you'll never be as nice as that person was, Brian. That's what someone said to me. He said, seriously? Yeah. Tyler was there. He heard the person say it. And in my head, I thought, dude, I don't really care if people think I'm nice. I do care if people think that I'm righteous, that I'm honorable, and that I seek to bless and do what is as right as I can by people. To me, that's more important than being nice. I've known some, quote, nice people. Now, what, you know, no, that's who I want to be now in my life. So what do I try and do? I try and be square with everyone where I can. You know, some people, they won't let you be square with them. You just do as much good as you can by them and hang it up. I try and bless as much as I can. Why? Because I want to be blessed. I try to be as loving as I can. That one, I, you know, I continue to work on that one. Why? Because I'd like to receive love. And I believe that I'm blessed and I believe that I'm loved. And so that's what I put out there. And that means that the Father is able to bless me with good gifts and perfect gifts. Why? Because I expect that he will do that. Just like I expect he'll give me wisdom when I ask in faith without doubt. I believe he'll give me wisdom. I believe he'll give me when I ask in faith and I don't doubt. You say, that's name and claim it. No, that's 
the epistle of James by the Holy Spirit. But this much I know, Tyler. If you say to me, I need 20 bucks, and I said, well, I've got 20 bucks for you. You know, walk with me to my truck. And you say, no, no, I just don't believe anybody's going to give me 20 bucks. And you turn and walk away. And then Tyler says, you know, I, I told Brian about my need. Brian wouldn't help me. What? I wanted to help you. I was willing to meet your need. I was willing to let the Lord use me to bless you. But you turned and walked off after you said, no, no, I know what's going to help me. Even though I just said, I'll help you. Mm -hmm. Do you realize we do that to God all the time? As humans, we do that to God all the time. So something to think about, something to change and reorient your thinking. Anything else, my brother? No, sir. With Adam Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. And we bid you good day.